Today we're checking VMware tool status with PowerShell. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show. And uh, today we're going to go over um, checking uh, our VMware tools status. So in your VMware infrastructure, you have all your, your virtual machines and they have an add-in installed in them called VMware tools. Now these tools allow you to get health and other information from inside the VM and uh, even send commands to them to do different upgrades and, and uh, different uh, utilities and maintenance inside the VM without having to connect to it and do anything at the console. Helps you script things. And newer versions provide newer capabilities and bug fixes, so we need to know what version we are running on each VM and uh, be able to kind of report that back and utilize that information. So we know from a previous video that I did, we, there's the command called get VM. And just like in that other video, I'm going to use my KMS1 uh, server. So th this is running. And uh, in order to get the uh, VMware tools information, we move to the front, put an open parentheses, and move to the end, put close parentheses, and then go to the extension data uh, group, and then go to guest. Hit enter, and this comes back with almost all the information that we need here. So the tool status and versioning and whether tools are running and the actual numbered tools version. So uh, if I was looking for a specific version, I could run this in a loop, go out and get all of my VMs, and say, tell me which ones you know have old versions that the tool status is tools old or tool version status is guest tools need upgrade. And we can further you know dot this out to say uh, tools status, and then that's just going to give us back the that tool status value. So we could actually go through and just check all of our VMs to say which ones have a tool status of tools old. So, but right now we're gonna do tools uh, running status, which right now says Google guest tools running. So if I want to reboot this server and I wanna know when it's going to come back, when it's back available for me to uh, connect to it. I'm going to remote into it, you know, via RDP or something like that. Okay, so I can do a, a command here, like while. Well, it's easier to just go up. We'll put this and we'll go while my get VM extension tool status not equal to guest tools running then we're going to come here we're going to uh, write host a dot no new line and and that okay so if I hit enter that's just going to come back and take me back to the command prompt because tool status is running. So, but if I were to restart, restart VM AD KMS1, if I could type today, confirm false. So this is going to restart this server. There it goes, it's restarting. Now I want to run this command with my little dots. There we go. So now it's running these little dots, it's going and it's checking to see if the server is running and I have my VMware tools loaded so that I can send commands to it or do other things that I need to do. So it's coming up. Okay, boom, now at this point I know 
that my VMware tools are running again, and I can connect to it and do the things that I want to do. So using these commands allows me to, when I reboot servers, I'm running scripts, I want to send files or update a server, I need to know that it's running. So I can use something like this while loop to go through and be able to check that. And then once it's running, okay, good. Then I can send my other commands, create snapshots, remove snapshots or whatever I need to do, you know, push Windows updates and things like that to the server or do a reboot. And then once it gets back to running, you know, send a message, you know, the server's back available or after a certain time, say the server never came back, you need to go check it. So a couple of different things that you can do uh, with that. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, since this server obviously has the tools are out of date, so we need to update them. So that's a simple command, update tools. VM AD KMS1, and then we are going to uh, we're just going to let that go. I'm going to let it reboot if it needs to reboot. So there is a command that is a no reboot. If you're, if it's a production system, you want to update the tools and then not have it reboot, then you can do that. So let's see if we can get this thing up to where it's the correct version of VMware tools. So this is just going to go and start running. It's going to check the version that is going to take the VMware tools that's installed on the host and push those, copy those over there and then update the tools in place. Okay, well it says it timed out mostly because um, the server has malware bytes on it and that is keeping the uh, tools, making the tools longer time to load and install. But if I go back here, it did finally install. Um, if I come back here and say, look at the tools values. So now we are running tools okay, tools current, tools running. We're in 11.269. So it did do the upgrade, it did finish it. Um, there is a timeout value uh, that we can add to the uh, settings, increase timeout that passed to it. So we can do that um, in the common parameters. Um, but it's fine. It was able to get the tools updated and running. So now we can use these scripts. I could also do a, when you upgrade the tools, uh, you can do run async, which allows you to just, it'll drop out and it won't wait. So it just sends the command to update the tools and then you can continue on doing other things, which is where it's nice to have these commands to go and find out what version of tools it is and whether the server is running, right? So that way you can know, okay, it's running, it's running, it's running. Okay, tools are old, tools are old, it's running. Wait, it's not running. So that must mean it's rebooting. And then finally come back and say, okay, the tools are upgraded. So you can do some tests along the way in how to do that update. So. All right, so that's kind of an overview of doing some things with VMware tools, checking the versions, uh, see if they're running, and uh, then updating the tools if you need to, and uh, keeping your infrastructure updated scriptomatically because that's much better than trying to go to every single box and clicking the upgrade and, and everything else. Just you don't want to spend time doing that. No one's got time for that at all. All right. Well, thanks for watching this one. If you've got any other suggestions having about VMware and uh, using PowerShell to run against them, then comment below and I'll make videos. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.